The chambers involved in getting Hoover Dam built here in part because of the key people in the process for Nevada. The main two people in southern Nevada who were really pushing for it were Ed Clark and Pop Squires, who were kind of a dynamic duo in their own way. I don't know which one was Batman and which one was Robin. But <laughs> in this case, you've got these two guys who are involved in everything, and Squires has the Republican connections. Clark has the Democratic connections. They're both working with the governor, a Reno guy named Jim Scruggum, who was a key figure in Nevada life at that time. And they're working with all of these groups throughout the West to get the dam built. Now, remember, Hoover Dam doesn't just you know, materialize. Uh, they're talking about it as of 1905, the year Las Vegas as a community is founded. So they've been hearing about this a long time. And there have been various uh, engineers coming through, people looking at it. And the people of Las Vegas are really pushing for this in the 20s. And this is part of the chamber's thinking. Because the railroad moved the repair shops out of Las Vegas to Caliente. Now, it happens just at the time that highways are being built through. We're getting daily air service. The railroad itself is still part of the town, but the main job function that it serves is going away. So here are chamber leaders looking and saying, we have to get jobs into this community. We have to build the economy. And Hoover Dam serves that purpose in a variety of ways. We don't think of it this way. It becomes a tourist attraction. And the chamber and other elements of the Las Vegas community tie into it. In addition, at the time, the water that Nevada is supposed to get from the dam is not terribly meaningful. We have an underground water supply, but eventually we use it up. And now, without the water from Lake Mead, created by Hoover Dam, I don't think we have the fountains. I don't think we can go to Venice. I don't think we have volcanoes. So it isn't as if the Chamber of Commerce at that moment looked and said, this is the future that we're going to see, but the Chamber understood with Hoover Dam, this is the future.